Okay, everyone. Let's do this again when my husband gets ready for bed. This is the latest. The great. Kidding. Yep, no green. Nice color. By the way, if you think I'm going to point out in this one, it's usually quietness. Look on the DeSoto. Flags and a president seal. Yeah. Max is still the president. I said there was continuity. You think I'm kidding? Reality 2.0. Oh, it's Second Life. Unrest in the Dakotas. Dispatch equal numbers of giant battle robots to all sides. Whoever survives, claim we backed them all along. Illegal immigration. Let the new guys pilot the giant battle robots. Criticism that your domestic policy is too giant battle robot based. They can take it up with my new press secretary, the Mametron 9000. <laughs> if that's the guys from Air Force One, tell them they get the keys back once they say the magic word. Quiet, Max. It's the commissioner. Total collapse of the economy and downfall of Western civilization? Great grinning head of John the Baptist and a pork pie hat stuffed in a rhinestone bowling bag. We're on our way. We've got a computer crisis to take care of, little buddy. Have they tried turning it off and back on again? Bigger than that, Max. Computers everywhere are going haywire. Planes are falling from the sky. Nuclear reactors are nearing meltdown. And scores of pasty white nerds will be forced to go outdoors and socialize with normal people. We already do. Horror. Where do we start, Sam? The National Consortium of Smart People who are good with computers has been tracking electron surges all over the country. And one of the biggest is right here in our neighborhood. What an unbelievably convenient coincidence. How do we find an electron surge? No idea. Let's go. I would have asked that before jumping to the... Hey, what happened to that charming picture of the recently flattened marsupial? Turns out you're supposed to flip the page every month. That'll get old fast. Hey, Max, there's a donut missing. You didn't actually eat it, did you? No, the mold civilization discovered nuclear fusion and accidentally destroyed one of their continents. If man does not learn from the donut box, he is doomed to repeat it. Oh, dear. I don't want to alarm you, Max, but do you know if Hubert's made out a will? You bet he has. Why do you think I agreed to take care of him? Won't be long now. Wait. Max, why did you put the Bill of Rights on our dartboard? House cleaning. Guess what? We no longer have the right to peaceably assemble. Great. And next time you're incarcerated, you'll have the choice of cruel or unusual punishment. I'm beginning to regret voting for the other guy. Mr. President, this is Margie, your scheduling assistant, with some changes for this week. You still have impeachment hearings on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, but the one on Wednesday has been pushed back for your war crimes trial. Thanks. Oh, it's only been a month, dude. Hello again, Mr. President. Just a reminder that you're still scheduled to visit middle schools this week to remind kids of the importance of staying in school. As usual, we'll have therapists on hand after your speech to talk with the more traumatized children. Max. One more thing, Mr. President. Your opponents have finally decided to cancel their weekly election ballot recounts. According to your calendar, that should free up the hour and a half each week you have marked as time to gloat. Hello, Mr. President. This you still have pushed back. Hello, is this the Pentagon? This is the President's National Security Advisor. I think the Swiss are up to something. You'd better check it out. I love that shocked expression they get when the tanks line up along their border. It's the little things that make being leader of the free world worthwhile. Hello, Kremlin? We've decided we're done with Alaska. You can have it back now. Some people have actually been voting for that. What are the Hello, is this the Pentagon? It's up to something. It's the little things. Hello, Mr. Vice President. I'm sorry, Sam, but I have a re-election campaign to think about. And let's face it, you are not a hit with the aquatic voters. I 
get her boxing glove back, but we lost the carbon dater. President Max's throne. Lincoln's head, still at large. The little rat's not home. There it is. Jesse James's actual hand. No, remember that carbon dater said it was only a few Jesse years James's old. Jesse James's actual hand. Amazing. <laughs> Hungry Leonard? Okay, maybe later then. Hmm. The teddy bear that terrorized a TV station. The fro behind Brady Culture's unfashionable hypnosis plot. Ugh. Even if he was just a puppet, Max, don't you think it's unsettling to keep the head of the former president inside our closet? You're right, Sam. We need to get a pipe. <laughs> you had to give him an idea. And by the way, denial is ugly. How many islanders had to die to get the lava for our precious lamp? I guess the computer crisis is affecting television, too. Or ours is just a piece of crap. Either way, this is serious! Oh, dear. I tried adjusting it earlier. Didn't help. that Max seems to have this affinity for giant battle robots now that he has unlimited access to them. Well, next time we'll actually start the game and explore the street and see what everyone's doing. Bye!